Hello there, and welcome to my basic varnish configuration tutorial. Now, I assume that since you're watching this tutorial, you already know what varnish is and what it does, so I'm not going to dwell on it. Uh, of course, to install varnish, uh, we use our trusty command apt get install varnish. Simple as that. Now, let's move on to configuration. First of all, we're going to edit file located under etc slash default slash varnish. Uh, what we have to do is change the default VLC file right here, uh, 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 right here in the line with flag F, change it from default VLC to whatever you want. Let's say for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to change it to user.vlc. Uh, the reason behind it is that when you update your varnish, uh, this file may get overwritten, and should that happen, it will erase your, all your configuration data. So let's change it to user.vcl. Uh, also in this file, this line right here uh, with flag S specifies uh, how much storage does varnish get gets for its cache. Uh, right now it's set to 256 megs. Of course, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, okay, save it and exit. Uh, next, we're going to copy contents of default VCL to our user VCL. So let's go to etc slash varnish, varnish, and let's copy it from default vcl to user not vcl all right now it's done let's edit our user vcl nano user vcl uh, vcl stands for varnish configuration language and this file right here specifies most of most of the uh, configuration for our varnish service so what now we're going to edit our backend part. Our backend part located right here. Uh, right now, we are only going to change its listening port. It's listening on port 8080. But as we are using uh, Apache server, uh, we are going to swap it for our Apache port. And our Apache is running at port 80. So let's change it to 80. Also, in this file right now, uh, we can change the amount of time for which Varnish stores its cached files. By default, it is set to, uh, I think it's two minutes. Yeah, it's two minutes. Mm, and to change it to whatever you want, we are going to uh, run it like here. Sub VCL underscore fetch bracket uh, bracket bracket uh, -na 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 -na. set b e r e s p dot t t l equals let's say five minutes and let's close our bracket uh, of course you can change it from five minutes to five seconds or even five hours uh, whatever you want, whatever suits your website traffic. Let's leave it up to five minutes. So that's it for this file right now. Let's save it and exit. Uh, by now, we could take our Vunch Live. And to do that, we're going to swap its ports with Apache so that you know requests go to, from our site go through Varnish by default. So. Uh, let's configure Apache ports. CD2 etc. Apache2. And let's edit file. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Nano etc. Slash Apache2. Ports.conf. And in this file, we are going to change the listening port from 80 to uh, 880. 
save it and exit and now we are going to have to do the same thing for every visual host we're running and right now i'm running only the default one so for me it's gonna be again nano etc apache two, slash sites dash available dash slash zero 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 default dot conf and right here the very first line we're going to change virtual host from 80 to 8080 just as in the previous file save it and exit mm -hmm. uh, so let's go to our first file the daemon options file that is nano edc slash default slash varnish and right here we are going to find this line this 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 line daemon opts with flag minus a and we are going to change this port from 6081 to 80 yep that's it no excuse me very much this is not what we wanted to do this should stay at 6081 we want to change the one in alternative 2 okay yeah all right uh, by default this one this line over here uh, it, the, this port value should be different but uh, it appears that I've edited this file before and I forgot to undo the changes so you know right here daemon underscore opts uh, change it to 80 just like it's right here save it and exit yes save the changes uh, and uh, by now the uh, last thing we're gonna have to do is go back to our file at nano adc varnish user vcl and then 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 and and as we've changed uh, all our traffic to go through varnish first we're gonna change this back from 80 to 8080 so that it gets its data from Apache all right save it and exit the only thing left is to reload Apache and restart varnish that's it thank you for listening see you later